IUPAC nomenclature of cumulin. First of all, you try to understand the meaning of cumulin. Cumulins are actually hydrocarbons with two or more consecutive double bonds. Consecutive means one after another. These there are two consecutive double bonds in this compound. There are four consecutive double bonds, and in this compound there are three consecutive double bonds. So you know, uh, in suffix is used for the double bond. If there are two double bond, then it is di. If there are four double bond, then it is tetra means four, and in means double bond. Tetra in. And if there are three double bond, then it becomes tri in. Now, here, when you provide name to the cumulin, you have to select the longest chain of carbon, including all double bonds. and then provide numbers to the selected chain as such that all double bonds should get least possible number that's it. again once you do that you find out the name of its parent alkane alkane and replace any with word diene or triene or tetraene uh, to get the iupac name so this is all about general rules of the iupac nomenclatures nomenclature of cumulin now i have taken few examples you take this example here you have to select the longest chain that is a very first task you cannot skip any one or uh, any carbon so i have selected both carbons in this longest chain and then i have given the numbers so the numbering you can start either from this carbon or this carbon only thing is this double bonded carbon should get least possible number so in this case you can start numbering from either of the ends so i have started here 1 2 3 4 and 5 so there are five carbon so the parent is pentane and as usual i remove any and since there are two double bonds i wrote there di now i have to prefix the numbers where the double bonds are started so the first double bond is started at carbon number 2 that's why i have selected this number and then second number is started second double bond is started at carbon number 3 so the 3 is written both numbers are separated by comma so this becomes 2 3 penta di now moving toward the next example if coh group is there and all of you know that the when coh is there you have to start numbering from the carbon of that group so this is always one so there is no choice so you have to select this carbon also along with the carbon chain you cannot skip any any no you cannot skip single carbon of the molecule you have to select this carbon here a uh, single carbon means that should give a longest chain of carbon if here and here or many other other substituents there then you have to select longest chain so that doesn't mean you have to select all carbons so please try to understand uh so all carbon means you have to select longest chain of carbon if carbon is there if other a uh, group having carbons are there in place of hydrogen you have to skip that in this case because the carbon of coh group is uh, you have to select uh, you have to select it now this this carbon is always one so 2 3 4 and the fifth one now once numbering is done you can see here there is no other substituent and this is a part of this chain so five means pentane i replace any with dime because there are two double bonds and i have also prefix numbers where the double bond is started here at carbon number 2 and 3 double bonds so this becomes 2 3 penta dime but uh, there is a carboxylic group and that is uh, a carbon number 1 so this is 1 oic acid so this is how iupac names name is given to this kind of compound now i have taken here one more example i have selected this longest chain uh 
but there is a substituent present here at carbon number one that's why the numbering will start here not from these a because i must take care that the all substituent should get least possible number so this will provide number one and this is amino group so i use its prefix that is one amino and then since there are six carbon i wrote here hexa and since there are four uh, double bonds so that becomes tetraene now i have written here the numbers where double bonds are started so carbon number 1 2 3 4 there are double bonds so 1 2 3 4 hexa tetraene so in this way you can uh, give the name now i have taken here one more example so this is your longest chain now numbering you can start either from this end or this end that is one and same here in this compound now see so there are two two substituents at carbon number 1 and 3 so this is naphthene and this is naphthene this is phenyl and this is phenyl so this is what 1 3 di naphthene 1 3 di naphthene and again 1 3 diphenyl 1 3 diphenyl since there are three carbons so this becomes propadiene which propadiene so this is 1 2 propadiene so this is 1 2 propadiene similarly you can select here this longest chain and you cannot skip the carbon of coh group so this is again 1 2 3 4 and 5 at fifth carbon there is a substituent that is phenyl so it becomes 5 phenyl 5 phenyl where double bond start uh, double bond is started at carbon number 2 at carbon number 3 carbon number 4 so there are three double bonds and the three selected chain having five carbons so it is pentane so that becomes penta triene penta triene because there are three double bonds and one coh group so this is one oic acid one oic acid so in this way you can provide names iupac names to the cumulin thank you